95 years ago, a man whose parents had been slaves set out to share with the world that the history and contributions of black people go far beyond what many may have thought. His mission led to the month-long celebration in February of black history. News Talk Long Island's Tama Ponton spoke with a Stony Brook University professor about how and why it all began. Dr. Carter G. Woodson, the son of former slaves, was a historian who earned a Ph.D. from Harvard University. He is known as the father of black history and the creator of what is now known as Black History Month. He was um, focused like a laser constantly on this struggle to elevate the status and elevate the respect for the African-American experience in a country there was very little of that to be found. Stony Brook University professor Dr. Zebulon Maletsky teaches African American history and is also a member of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. Woodson co-founded the organization in 1915 with the goal of educating all of America about the valuable contributions of black Americans in the foundation of this country, its history, and culture. His theory was that if people knew more about this accomplishment, it would help to improve race relations. It would help to improve uh, and change the way African Americans are, are seen in, in America. In February of 1926, Woodson started what was then called Negro History Week. He chose uh, February because it was the you know, coincided with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. The week-long celebration of black achievement was elevated in 1976 when President Gerald Ford issued the first message on the national observance of Black History Month. Since then, every administration has issued a proclamation about celebrating February as Black History Month, which is now officially called National African American History Month. It's a long, steady march of progress and success sometimes despite it. And so uh, as many times as uh, we've made steps forward, we've made steps backward, and someone like Kamala Harris is a perfect embodiment of all of that. Today, it's not just an American celebration. Black History Month is also celebrated in Canada and the United Kingdom. Progress that Dr. Maletsky says was part of Woodson's mission to educate people about the history, impact, and importance of African Americans that goes far beyond our origin story in this country. I think he'd say, you know, uh, job well done, but, you know, we've got to keep working tomorrow. I'm Tamo Ponton, News 12. Each year, the organization Dr. Woodson founded chooses a theme to celebrate the month. The theme for 2021 is the Black Family, Representation, Identity, and Diversity.